Hello and welcome to another update video about ICP. Uh, reason why I do this video is because I had a lot of requests for some reason about, um, yeah, can you make a video about a ICP? Um, when I do these videos with coins that are in a lifetime downtrend, and this is the log chart, I can go to the linear chart as well. It looks even more, um, more difficult and more challenging. Um, you know, when I do these, I always have to say, currently we are clearly, we are clearly in a downtrend, <laughs> very clearly. You know, and you can go into different time frames, and this is the weekly time frame. So in the weekly time frame, we are still we're clearly in a downtrend. Yeah, you see low after low after low, lower lows and lower highs. It doesn't even appear to be slowing down here on the log chart. In the last video, I showed you that descending trend line. I told you that, you know, at at the very best, yeah, at the very best, this is at some point going to to stop the downtrend. Um, I mean, let's let's just see if we can get some some numbers out of this. But the point is that I tried to make before we really go into a little bit more detail, I try to establish some targets which are sort of drawn out of the air because there is no historical support more. So this is no coin I would be uh, thinking about going long at the moment. Um, there is no historical support. There are no wa five waves up that I see and nothing. We are we are down on multiple time frames in a downtrend. And if you buy this, you're catching the biggest knife of all. And yeah, it can work out, but... Um, Whenever you try to do a reversal trade or you try to catch the falling knife, um, you need to you need to be very careful with how much money you put in there. Um, I would not bet more than I would not even bet my lunch money on this um, <laughs> or pocket money. Um, not not at the moment. Um, there are much better charts out there. And if you like the project, then maybe also consider to wait for a for a reversal signal because at the moment there there just isn't much. Um, Therefore, the edit wave analysis also won't give you further clues. You know, there is, I th don't think there is any method in the world that will tell you where this is definitely going to stop. There is not even anything where you can say that with likelihood. The only, the only tool that we have, in my opinion, is either Fibonacci extensions. And um, even that is obviously unreliable in a scenario where we are moving into, into basically all time low scenarios here. Now, the next level I can see, I mean, we have now come down to the 1.236 Fibonacci extension at 353. So this is certainly a support level. You can see how we are reacting to it. That's why I mean the FIB levels, they can help to a degree, but this there is no guarantee that it will reverse at that point. So this is now support, it now has a chance, but also if you zoom in, I mean, this is a weekly candle, so pretty high level, but we're gonna look at that on a lower time frame. You can see that on the weekly chart, and I always have to say, trend lines are subjective, right? I mean, you know, there will be discussions about is this trend line drawn correctly? I could probably draw it a little bit more accurately and maybe on the day daily, it will look a bit different as well. Um, so if I, if I adjust it, then we haven't even broken out of the trend line yet. Um, but again, there's various ways of how this can be drawn, but it doesn't look like a breakout of the trend line. Um, we also seem to have been rejected. Um, and uh, yeah, this is not a bullish reversal candle. So that one is down there, but then it's not really followed by anything too bullish yet. Um, so yeah, the, at the moment, the sentiment is clearly negative and also the trend is down on multiple time frames. Now the next target, if this one fails, if the 353 level fails, the only other level I can give here is the 259 level, the 1.618 FIB extension. That's the 1.618 Fibonacci extension of the wave one. Um, so that's, that's okay. So that is the next target I would, I would have here 258. I would actually add that onto the chart again, it's low, low probability, low likelihood and no low reliability because this chart is just, um, bear market fire. Yeah. It's just heading down, down. There's no sign of stopping. Um, we can also use the low of the wave three. Yeah. Calculate the length of the wave three and then go to the 0.618 FIP, uh, extension of that. And that takes us to a very similar level at 242. So I'm not going to add that to the chart because very close to the other one, but sort of in that range, yeah, around the 260 level, 250 level, maybe. Um, that certainly, oh, that should be, we should see some kind of a reaction to that. The reason I use the log chart here is because on the log chart, you actually can define a very nice trend line in this case. And I have the feeling with this chart, the linear chart sort of doesn't really help us anymore because we're just flat. Um, and, uh, we can't really use Fibonacci extension C as well, because it's sort of, you know, sort of this is maxed out what it can do really. Um, it's sort of in an all time low scenario. And I mean, I can go to the daily chart, but also here, what, what, what do you see on the daily chart on the daily chart? All you see is as well, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, and lower highs. So clearly downtrend on the downtrend on the daily chart as well. Nothing, nothing remotely bullish here. 
Um, you could argue that you're seeing a bullish divergence, but remember, because you're making on the daily a higher low on the RSI, but remember we saw that here as well. And there's just no, you know, without a follow through and eventually making a higher high. So making here a higher high would be a first um, sign that would be above 463, would at least be a sign that this uh, thing is reversing, at least doing something like that. Yeah, temporary move up, but um, yeah, other than that, um, this is um, down on the daily four hour chart. I mean, even here on the four hour, you, you clearly see the trend is still down. Um, nothing, you know, nothing uh, remotely bullish here at the moment. Um, I mean, to, to see some kind of uptrend, you actually need to go to the 30 minute chart. Yeah, so, but even that looks very choppy. And it, I think it all depends on to get back into a larger uptrend, which this needs to go to. We need to get the break above the 460 level. And, you know, th that is, that is what it is. Um, and, you know, we can make that video longer, but there's no need to it. This is uh, something I would avoid. Yeah, there's certainly resistance up there. So anybody who wants to continue to short this, anybody who likes shorting this stuff, um, you know, that there might be, a, that this is certainly a resistance area up there around the 460 mark, maybe starting at 450, sort of in that range here at these highs. Yeah, I mean, we can on the one hour define here a little bit of a, of a resistance area. So first of all, we can use the FIPS for that. Um, looking here at the wave down, defining here sort of the, the resistance area, which I think we're already in, to be honest, in, in, we are all in a larger resistance area. We've moved into the 61.8% retracement. So sort of this is, all of this is resistance, yeah. Getting above the 78.6 retracement, which would, you know, sort of uh, favor a little bit uh, that, that this is going to break because it is stronger than normally you would expect a retracement to be. Um, but yeah, then we've got the 88.7 as next resistance at 445 and then the 460 level and a break above that could, I don't want to say bullish, yeah, because there is any, you know, this is, this would be remotely from bullish. I mean, to even, I mean, we can, we can just for fun, um, I don't know what I'm doing here, range. No, I just want to go to the daily auto. No, let's go back to the one hour. And, and even if you say, okay, you know, we're gonna move up 100%. Or oh, let's say 50, 52 here. That's decent, yeah? That's decent. There would be a, a a huge green candle, right? Something like that. If you now go to the daily, just to get the perspective. See, it doesn't even adjust it correctly anymore because this has come down so much. So even if it goes up 50%, all you would need to, all you would do is you, you basically break this, this swing high, but on the daily, what you would really need to do, I mean, this, is, this will be hardly noticeable. And we had it here as a move up, yeah? But all of that is just part of this larger downtrend. So on the daily, you would be far away from making any significant swing high because on the daily, you would need to get a back, uh, would get above the $9.76 level, that way for high here. So we can add a trend line here, a uh, resistance line, the breakout line. So this is the level you need to get above on the daily to at least start to consider that this downtrend might be over. I mean, that would be a fairly good sign, but it's still, if you look at where we're coming from, yeah, this is, even, even then, this is just uh, difficult, but it would be a certain, and by then you will also have broken out of the trend line on the log chart, certainly. So yeah, I'd, I'd be extremely careful with that. Um, I would, I would, I really would be. So this is back on the log chart just to see. Yeah, then you would have broken the trend line as well. But then again, trend lines are subjective. It all comes down to, I think that critical level here, that critical swing high on the daily. Um, but that would on the other hand be resistance. So if you break out of the trend line, get a bit of a short term move up, maybe into that resistance area up here. Um, and then it could set us up for another low. Um, but yeah, you know, un until we really see here, clear five waves up, three waves down, the trend is clearly down and there's nothing not, not, nothing else really to add about ICP, unfortunately. Okay, that's my update about ICP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.